Are you using all the law of attraction coaching techniques and tools like vision boards, smart goal setting, you know, positive affirmations, all those kind of things. And then you're feeling really, really stuck because it's not coming. Whatever you're uh, wanting to manifest isn't coming towards you. I've had a few conversations like this recently with clients and they've been working really, really hard to manifest a goal and they're doing all the law of attraction things, right? They're using, they're using vision boards. They're really, really clear on what they want. They've written their ideal wish list. They're using affirmations. They're doing meditations and it's still not coming and they're getting really, really frustrated that it's not here yet. So I wanted to drop in and give my two cents worth on that. So I trained as a law of attraction coach back in 2013 and um, there are I learned back then there are many more universal laws than just the law of attraction. Now, the law of attraction became popular when The Secret came out, the book, the movie, you know, made the, the law of attraction something that most people know about now, but there are many other universal laws that other people don't know about. So one of them is the law of detachment. So you can be doing all this manifesting stuff and creating stuff and, and trying to get into flow. Um, but if you're sitting there and you're going, I've done all these tools, I'm using all the law of attraction tools, but it's not working yet. It's not here yet. Or some other kind of negative thinking around that. What you're doing is you're moving from flow state where you, you're trying to manifest what you want and you're in flow. You're moving from that state into a state of resistance and lack and not believing that what you're trying to manifest is on its way. So you can't manifest and attract what you want from that space because if you're stuck in resistance energy and you don't believe that the universe is delivering your order to you, then you're sending out mixed messages, right? So it would be the equivalent of going to a restaurant and putting in your order, your very specific order for whatever pizza you want. And then you keep saying, it's not here yet. It's not here yet. And then you put in maybe a different order. Um, and the waiter gets confused and doesn't really know what to bring you. So it just doesn't deliver it to you. Or the waiter's sitting there going, she doesn't think it's coming. She doesn't think it's coming. So maybe it's a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy. So what you need to do is do all of the law of attraction tools and techniques because they're great. But with that, they're only great when you're in a neutral or a positive mindset. If you're feeling really negative, if you're trying to heal yourself from trauma, that kind of thing, then the focus should be on raising your vibration by healing and releasing the trauma that's holding you back from being your best self. Once you've done that, which is a never ending journey, you know, but if you feel if you're you're in a negative, sorry, if you're in a neutral or positive mindset, then you can utilize all the attractive law of attraction tools that you want. And then once you've set that order to the universe, like you don't need to keep saying to the waiter, you don't need to keep giving the waiter your order, do you? Once you've ordered your dinner at a restaurant, you don't need to keep ordering it. It's the same with the law of attraction. The universe knows what you want. You have stated it very, very clearly. Then all you need to do is surrender it over to the universe and know that everything will rock up to you with divine right timing and just surrender to that and know that it's on the way. So you need to actually detach yourself from whenever it's coming and from whatever the outcome is. Because when we want to manifest stuff, we also want to add to it. I want this universe or something better because you don't know what that something better might be with your potentially narrow focused of thinking. So use the law of attraction tools and then detach from it. So that's my two cents worth on why you might be using all these law of attraction tools and it may not be coming towards you yet. If you've got any questions, drop a comment below and I will be happy to answer them. Also, um, I wrote a book, an ebook a long time ago now called The Secrets Behind the Secret, The Missing Keys to Manifesting. The law of detachment is just one of those. So if you would like a copy of that, comment below secret and I will get that out to you. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.